to another ride along with goggles and um, we're in Lewiston heading for Sheridan so 300 mile trip and it's uh, urgent so best to get a move on um, haven't, had, haven't done this trip down there before uh, the bit from Lewiston to Billings I guess we're gonna take we'll, we'll have taken parts of that but um, after there, heading, heading down to Sheridan will be new. And we've got the Elite Straight Side on here from uh, Mario Customizations, as I, I guess I mentioned in the last video. I have to try it out. Well, here we are. So, uh, got uh, 22,000 pounds of cows on. It must be special cows because this load pays pretty good. Should pay over 40,000, so. And uh, talk a little bit about the trailer as we go. Turn right. It's like these stockyards. They, they got the small trailers there. It's all set up like a trailer sales thing. Yeah, they're all nicely arrayed like they are. But I like how each stockyard I've been to so far, the layout's been a little different. You know, the perimeter layout, the actual prefab itself is the same all the time, but... So this skin is is done. I gotta just. Uh, I gotta do the generic version of it and uh, get it up on the Steam Workshop. So what I'll do, I should be able to get a link to the skin in the in the video. This Lewiston is the first time I drove over this way in town. And they really okay, knocked straight. it out of the park, these guys. They just can't say enough about it. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. Go straight. I guess I'll go left here. Maybe. Keep left. Yeah. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. I just made a late minute change to the skin. Uh, hopefully it's a good one. I, I moved the, uh, I had the deer head up on the side of the uh, sleeper because it didn't, I didn't think there was room to put it in there. If I squeezed it in there, I think I'll leave it down there. That looks better on the door. Second guessing her. This little trailer is uh, pretty sweet. Go straight. Got now. This road. So that contrap <laughs> that contraption on the back of the trailer is a ground loader. So 
so if you've never seen one before, what happens is that right hand side uh, swings around and extends the left hand side out and then the little ramp on the left side it folds down and extends out it makes a, a ground loading chute so you don't need a back up to a, a loading chute it's kind of cool that gear. Good thing we're not too heavy. So I got the uh, uh, Deer Lodge uh, Ranch script on the side of the trailer and on the back. Back there too. So there's different configurations for the trailer and uh, the chassis. You can have a, a spread axle as well. And uh, I kind of like this tandem setup slid forward because it's so maneuverable. It really makes parking a breeze. Like if you're getting out of shape on your parking, it's not too hard to correct. Boy, this is just, yeah, more stunning scenery here. But have you ever driven out this way? You, you recognize it, which is good. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> Keep saying that we got to uh, get back into the western area. Going to have to do that trip up around uh, Glacier uh, Park there. Yeah, we drove through here the other day. Let's look at this side out there this time. We look the other way. Yeah, very good. Go straight. See what's going to happen up ahead here. Yeah, I think it says for that scale. Right. Is, After the, 50 yards, oh, turn not. right. Turn right. That was somewhere else I was imagining. Oh, yeah, I was outside of Missoula, maybe. effort with this uh, skin to get all those uh, the horns lined up on it this time is this skin is a little different how you, how you skin it is the uh, front of the sleeper the uh, template or the, however they design the thing it doesn't automatically wrap the front of the sleeper you gotta put the strut the uh, whatever you're doing across there and of course it doesn't meet right in the middle of the horn so it's easy to just stick one on the other it's on the slope so the height and the width of the horn where it's meeting is tricky to get uh, same with the back of the cap but uh, it's done <laughs> spent most of yesterday messing around with it Oh, 
some of the map and see if that goes anywhere. Yeah, it does. I wonder where he was going. Better luck. Oh, look at that. Oh, we have to go there. That looks interesting. All right. schedule to keep. want to earn those big bucks. I'm taking a fine uh, pay hit. to remember that that uh, town comes up right away. <laughs> I guess this is, uh, is this, oh man, I better look again. Billings? Oh, it doesn't look that big, but do I, maybe it is. Losing track of where we are. Yeah, this is Billings. Go straight. Signal going. Okay, we're gonna turn left up ahead. on this thing. Huh, why am I not seeing it? I gotta get my, uh, program my zoom button. I used to have it on here, but that's my, uh, After 50 yards, turn left. that's my camera reset. My uh, head tracking reset. Oh, I just reset that. Let's see. Load gauge. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I have to check and see if that works. Is this one right here? Oh, I don't know if you can see that when I do that. It doesn't make any sense to you. <laughs> um. Put one of those in my truck. My new one. When I ordered the one with their ride, I put the pressure gauge in it and the dump valve. Okay, this is new. I think. Yeah. I haven't driven this one yet. There. Oops. I stay on the road here. Uh oh. Nice to uh, remember to get a uh, 
a good screenshot while we're driving out to uh, we'll see what kind of scenery we got. I'll try and remember to snap one off. Almost ran into Officer Stadenko there. Yeah, you can kind of see how this whole thing would work. There's, there's hinges straight on between those two right there. You unlatch it on the right, undo that chain, swing her around. Driving this thing like I'm driving that B double from yesterday. Gotta get with the program. miles an hour about 1550 on RPM so pretty good I was doing it I did a uh, first time in a long time <laughs> I did a trip on uh, not videoing it because we only drive and I've been doing lately is the videos because I just don't have time like, with the skins and stuff so when I drive I make a video so anyway um, last night I took uh, Penga's Turnpike Double Flat Deck the Revolution I think it is uh, from I'm trying to think Missoula I think or Anyway, down to Salmon, and that is one heck of a drive. It is awesome. Uh, Got to do a trip. But remember before uh, we had that turnpike double, we're taking the crane parts. Uh, I did two or three videos, at least two. I was commenting how heavy the load felt, and uh, I think I even put in my biggest engine and. Uh, they're struggling with it, and uh, I think the trailer, you know, in the in the uh, job description when you're picking it up, it shows a single trailer. It said something like 70,000 pounds. So I was thinking, okay, it's going to be double that. It's 140,000. Well, I took a load of lumber. It was like the planks, the heavy big planks, and it said that the planks were. I don't know, around 60,000 pounds. 
I'm taking that to be a single trailer. So I'm thinking, okay, we're pulling 120. And I had the, uh, my, uh, this same engine I have in here. And, uh, actually I was taking, I used this truck. guy's just going to sit there, unfortunately. Uh, so anyway, uh, what happened was um, I did get called into a scale. And uh, it was 348,000 pounds. Like, no wonder I could barely move it. It was crazy. So I don't know what's going on with that trailer. Is it, uh, how, how come that is? Is it a way to... Why the load would come out as that heavy? Oh, I hear. Look at this rolling train here. It's like southern Alberta. No, well, it's, there wouldn't be any trees. <laughs> Too many trees up on the hill there. there. Might be some down low. You wouldn't have any up top. That just doesn't look right. taking the southern part of this road it looks like or coming north it's interesting this is going pretty quick for a long trip All that uh, that yesterday in that video, I was taking that load to the, uh, the barley to the coke uh, plant, and I thought that the default name was something like BBSB or something. I made some <laughs> I made it up, I guess, because right. it's actually USBB. I think is what that is. <laughs> I guess that must stand for U.S. Bottling and Beverage, or Beverage and Bottling. Yards, turn right. So anyway, I was talking through my hat there yesterday. Turn right. Well, this is familiar old Sheridan. So this trailer is a sweetie. I'll uh, see if I can figure out where I got it and uh, like how I got it from uh, Mario Customization. So yards, turn right. I'll put a link to it in the description. Turn right. So we're going to have that. We're going to have the skin. I don't, know, I don't know how many of you guys have this. FLX mods 359, but I guess I could put a link to that too. Yeah, I think it's back up to 25 bucks or something. I got it when it was 20. It was on sale. I think in the next video, I got to uh, get something in or out of that Faraday place there up by Glasgow After 100 yards, or equivalent you know wherever it exists go find one turn left Girls, your new home. Got that little post there. Get along. 
own little doggies. It's all your misfortune and none of my own. <laughs> yeah. You have reached your destination. Way in the back. I think this is a real easy one. Yeah. All kinds of room to pull up over there. Yeah, we gotta figure out this Faraday place. Roto out in the background there. <laughs> oh, that's comical. Uh, anyway. Getting all set to shift it into a high, a high range reverse there, but uh, I thought better of it. This is pretty straightforward here. There you go, girls. Yeah, we did. It's funny how these different trailers pay so differently. Like 40,000, we went 300 miles. That's pretty good. Like, what were we getting with the uh, Bart's trailer? It was like between 10 and 16 or 18 for a much bigger load. So it's, it's just different. They're all a little different. So... Oh, uh, a little update. Uh, quickly, let's just jump into the map. So, it looks like what... Um, there's a highway here that uh, Recon wants to put in. I believe it's going to go between here and here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he's got all kinds of different things planned. He's going to... He'd like to add eventually Walker Farms. I don't know if you've ever seen their videos on uh, on uh, YouTube from Walker Farms and uh, they run two or three of those big bud tractors they're not the farm that has that biggest one that 16 v 71 uh, but uh, they do run some and it'd be kind of cool if it was on here and then get the drone modding low boy going and there is that 16 v 71 big bud on there to deliver and uh, yeah, so um, Recon's got some good plans here, and he does describe them. If you go to Truckee and uh, for the download, he says what's going on in there. So, and once again, he's um, yeah, it, it's just it's going to be great. It's going to be really good. Now, how come my map? Oh, I didn't put the map in this profile. So I don't have Wolf Point and I don't have Jordan. Jordan's down here, I think. Or here. Here. Uh, yeah, I'm missing Culbertson and Wolf Point. Jordan. Oh, man, my bad. Sorry, Recon. <laughs> I'll get that uh, map in there that right away and then the next video we'll have it in here. Anyway little update on what recon's up to and uh take care guys really appreciate you following along and to the new subscribers welcome aboard really appreciate it and uh we'll catch you guys on the next one bye for now